What is up, players? It is Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Uh, welcome to Studio B, let's call it. This is, is the uh, other workstation that I have to work on my miniatures when I am not at my main painting station. And I want to show you what I've been working on for a little while. Besides the orcs, which hopefully you've seen that video, I've been chugging through this uh, little force of iron hands here. And uh, you've got three centurions, six bikers, you got 26 infantry, uh, regular tactical marines. And then you've got five in the back, you might be able to see the heavy weapons guys, five devastators. And there's there's some characters. I noticed that there are a lot of guys that are using the, the client actually has, which I love, the Iron Hands upgrade sprue. So you've got some guys with the uh, metal legs here and um, the exposed brain there on that guy and yeah they're, they're, they're sprinkled throughout the force which I, I love anytime you use the conversion kits that are specific to a chapter I love that I also love taking a regular old tactical marine and painting him up in the iron hands or whatever you know legion or chapter specific way so if you're interested my color scheme for these guys it's a little I want to call it an improvement on the the tutorial version and these guys actually are highlighted using Dark Reaper and Rust Gray. And then you might notice that I shaded them down with Known Oil. We're at the phase where I just shaded everybody down so they're not all bright and colorful. The Lady Boss actually liked the, the brighter highlights. So I'm going to be bringing those up in the, uh, in, in the most prominent areas. Whenever I like to highlight models, I like to say go for the areas of the model that are hit closest with the light. And I think when you work in some place with an overhead light, and I have a lamp here, but I don't like to use it too much uh, because it kind of changes the way that the, the light hits the model. I'll use it for close-up work when I really need to see something. But if I'm just figuring out where am I going to put the highlights, I like to look at it in just regular overhead lighting. And you can tell, you can see where the overhead light hits the models where the light is reflecting on the shoulder pads. And I think that's great because it shows me, okay, that's where I'm going to put the highest highlighting. So <clears throat> I'm working on these guys. I should have them finished in a little while. I've also got, you, you guys aren't going to believe the amount of, of, of different variety of projects I have in store. I'm just really, really looking forward to showing you all of them. I've got more Tyranids coming up. And uh, you might remember I said in another video, I've got the Lord of the Rings guys. And I just, I love painting and I love commission painting and I, I just wish I could find a way to make it a little bit more profitable because um, the art side of the hobby, all of this is what really draws me to it. I wish the light was a little bit better so you could see it. I didn't want to move it down into the uh, my other work area, but uh, yeah, I'm really, really proud of it. Oh, and you've got, yeah, you might notice the five terminators in the front. For those of you who are interested in painting iron hands, you might not know this, I actually had to do some research on it, but the Iron Hands have their left hands cut off and replaced by a by a uh, cybernetic hand when they uh, be go from scouts to full tactical marines. They have their human hand chopped off. It's almost like a ritual and uh, they make it very, very much a holy and sacred thing that they are giving up this part of their humanity. And, um, and then the further on they go, they, there are some great stories in the Horus Heresy series and I think there might be some in the 40k series of black library novels but there's some great stories of commanders who've served for hundreds and hundreds of years and through battle and whatnot they've had parts of their body cut away because they were injured or uh, they weren't functioning the way they wanted them to and replaced with cybernetics until at the very end some of them are just basically like a brain uh, in a in like a cybernetic body that's the only thing that's that's still human from them so I love I love that part of the fiction for these guys that of all the space marine chapters that remain loyal the iron hands to me seem to be like the most i guess inhuman because they they purposely detach themselves from their humanity and their personality in order to be humanity's greatest protectors isn't that so weird and crazy and dark that uh they protect humanity and the the imperium and the best way they know how to do that is by not feeling anymore and becoming cold logic driven monsters and uh, I think that's just so grim and dark but they do it for the good of the Imperium so that humanity can survive I think that's awesome uh, okay so let me see if I wanted to talk about anything else with these iron hands uh, I guess that's it the client was cool enough to magnetize the weapons on the centurions 
So I'm going to be painting those a little bit separately. I also have, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to mention. I've also got a Forge World Iron Father that I'm going to be doing some videos on. And I think I've got the setup well enough downstairs so that I can uh, do another fully fledged tutorial on it. Maybe I'll put it up in the website on my website as premium content because not not too many people have it. But if you do have the the Forge Father, that might be something you'd want to um, to to learn how how I do. I'm going to be doing it at a at a better level than this. I don't want to say better, but at a more detailed level because this is the basic war boss job and. Um, the war boss standard by no means is I think a poor standard you could pick up any of these guys and look at look at their armor and you can see that everything is painted down to the the recesses in the leg armor there in the back I've done I've done everything so so a war boss job is by no means a lower quality than tabletop I like to think it's a nice high tabletop standard but the forge world model that the client commissioned is going to be done at a war master standard so if you want to see how I do that take it an even higher level up than uh, a tabletop quality to what I feel like is the best quality I can produce then stay tuned I, I think I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on that all right it's the Christmas season I hope you guys are all festive and in the holiday spirit and uh, not working too hard and yeah, after yesterday's uh, showcase of the orcs, I wanted to show off these iron hands. And there just wasn't any room downstairs also. So, again, sorry for the shakiness. Uh, I, I'm having to take my phone in to get to get looked at. So, um, this, this little video is the best I can produce for now. And so many great things coming up in the year. I hope you stay tuned. I hope you guys are all doing well out there. Leave me a comment below. Let me know uh, if you paint iron hands or if you collect iron hands. I'm really interested to know what tricks and things you've found. Uh, when help when painting them I've learned some really great tricks on just general space marine painting and you know uh, streamlining my process so I I think that's something that I, I definitely want to want to keep doing just you know va integrating various techniques and tips you might notice also there's some of them have the molded shoulder pads with iron hand symbols on them but a lot of them don't and so what I'm going to be using is this games workshop limited edition I don't think you can get these anymore iron hands transfer sheets uh, it might look uh, completely invisible to you, but that's because they're all in white. So if you can see, they've got all the symbols on them, but they're all in white. And that's just so they'll show up on the black armor. Uh, okay, and I guess that is all I have to say. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're at 7.45, 7 minutes, 45 seconds. So thank you for for uh, watching all of this. I hope you're all doing well out there. Say hi, Dookie. Just a little tail vanishing in the distance there. Laters!